Introduction to Balloon Payments Presented by Doug Bainbridge What does a balloon payment do? A balloon payment indicates a situation where a borrower usually is seeking short-term financing where the loan is paid off before the amortization period is complete. This definitely is a case where the borrower needs to be very aware of what they are doing. Assumptions for this introductory example Principal is $100,000 Annual interest is 4% Amortization is calculated using a 30-year period Regular payments are made for 3 years loan is fully paid off at the end of the three-year period. This large last payment is referred to as the balloon payment. The first year. The loan moves forward as if it is a 30-year fixed rate loan. In our example you can see where the loan amount does not fall very far in the 12 months of the first year the payments the same every month and the interest is larger as a portion of the payment than the principal is throughout the first year so it looks like a standard 30-year fixed rate loan in its first year the third and last year in my example the loan moves forward as if it is a 30-year fixed rate loan and then at the end of the third year there is an additional balloon payment made to bring the loan balance to zero. In this example the total of the final month's payments is calculated as follows. Monthly payment plus remaining principal balance after principal portion of the 36 months payment is applied. Now to kind of get more specific about that. This is the same as saying $477.42 the monthly payment plus the principal at the start of month 36 minus principal portion of the 36th month's payment. To put these into numbers probably will make this easier to see and in the next slide I show all the numbers in the spreadsheet format but right now you see the basic calculation to come up with the total paid in month 36 and that ninety four thousand four hundred ninety eight dollars and seventy three cents is the balloon payment in this case the third and last year the numbers a bit of this will be a repeat from the previous slide but now with that repeat hopefully I'll be able to show how the numbers fit together I debated with myself on how to read this and I'm just gonna go top down and with the written version of this you can spend more time following the arrows and verifying with the calculator how this all fits together. I hope this is helpful. So starting at the top, the total of payments in the 36th month equals the monthly payment plus the remaining principal balance after principal portion of the 36th month's payment is applied. So that is $477.42 plus principal at the start of month 36 minus the principal portion of the 36th month's payment. That subtraction operation right there applies the principal portion of the 36 months payment. Moving down this all equals $477.42 plus $94,660.61 
minus $161.88, which is the principal portion of the 36 months payment. Moving down, this all equals $477.42 plus $94,498.73. The balloon payment is this $94,498.73. So the total of payments made in the 36 month equals ninety four thousand nine hundred and seventy six dollars and fifteen cents which if you look to the lower right in the yellow on the spreadsheet in the background is the last monthly payment entry which is of course ninety four thousand nine hundred seventy six dollars and fifteen cents and as a side note because it's not on the spreadsheet, but just to outline where that number came from. The standard monthly payment in the 36th month is comprised of $315.54. You see the arrow pointing up to it in the spreadsheet, applied to interest. And where I am heading with this, $161.88 applied to principal. And you see that green arrow going up to it up there that's where this came from. Both those portions, in other words, interest portion and principal portion, are what comprise the standard monthly payment in the 36 month, and that is of course the $477.42. Conclusion. Balloon payments can be a tool that helps a borrower achieve a goal, but this method must be carefully analyzed. For example, Sometimes salespersons have a borrower set up with a balloon payment in anticipation that the borrower can refinance the balloon payment balance to a more advantageous interest rate. This can backfire and there are examples of this strategy causing the borrower to lose the house in the event that they are not able to refinance or make the balloon payment. As with every financial tool, we need to pay attention to what is affordable. I hope you find this helpful and again this is presented by Doug Bainbridge.